And when you impact lives and when you, when you add value to people, when you understand how to uh, figure out your unique value proposition uh, of who you are to separate yourself from the pack, um, I separated myself from the pack playing baseball. Um, I mean, the, 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 it's flooded. Like, the way you way to the top, it's like it's so flooded with so many people. The way I separated myself was I understood who I was. Pedro Martinez told me it in the shower when I was in spring training in 2000. Uh, in 2000, we were in the shower, and I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm in the shower with Pedro right now. This guy's like, a, like the, and I'm in a mile and And he's like, son, let me tell you something. He said, uh, it's not how much you learn, it's how quickly you learn it, which gets you to the big leagues. And I sat there and I thought a lot. And I was like, you know what? To decipher what he said, what it means is like, how quickly you learn yourself. Okay, I'm gonna take this information. How can I take this information, apply it to who I am and not try to conform myself to that person and make myself like that person and make myself like that person because when you're not yourself, you can't have a unique value proposition. You can't be separated. And if you wanna get paid, you have to have you have to be abnormal. Abnormality gets paid. That's why we got paid so much money because we're abnormal. I, I could hit a curveball in high school and you couldn't. That's just the biggest difference between you and me. It's, it's not that, you know, it's there's some di- talent there and, and, and fast twitch muscles and, and quick processes in my eyes and stuff like that. But but you have to become abnormal. And in the space that I'm in right now, it is flooded. This is a $4 billion industry every single year, the self-help space. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to find who I am through the process. I'm going to discover gifts and talents. I'm going to find energy. I'm going to find passion. I'm going to figure out what separates me through authenticity authenticity, and, and vulnerability. And I'm going to go out there and I'm just going to share my message. And I know my voice is going to be heard by the people that are supposed to be heard by. I'm not worried about anybody else. I'm not worried about Tony Robbins or Ed Milet or these big players in the game that are, that are worth a half a billion dollars. I'm not worried about Manny Ramirez. I hit in front of Barry Bonds. I can't do that. I always competed against myself in a space and I always say I was a level seven. Uh, the highest potential I reached in the major leagues was the ability of like a level seven player. How could I compete and have success against tens, elevens, and twelves? That's figuring out who I am, competing against myself, and putting the work in day in, day out, and tweaking my stuff to refine that skill set because skill set has utility. These are the things I want to convey and I teach people because it takes no talent. It takes committing to it and finding something that keeps you up at night. That dream, that vision that you have, every one of us has been given a dream and vision. But life's kicked us in the butt and knocked it out of us. And that voice has become so faint and it starts to become a whisper. And that vision and intuition becomes non-existent because we allow those limited beliefs and thoughts from the experience in our life derail us. So the thing is, is like, what is that vision? What is that dream that that you think about that, that you can't kick? It could be this. It could be doing a podcast with baseball cards. But is this your vision? If so, scale it to the masses of what you can do. You have it inside yourself to do it. So each and every one of us has that vision. Each and every one of us has that dream. And if we pursue that and give that to the world, that's the greatest gift you can give yourself.